In today's video, we go through the top five reasons why people refinance their home. Hi, my name is Matt Kelly. I'm a mortgage agent with Mortgage Architects based out of the St. Thomas, London, Ontario area. My license allows me to basically serve anybody in Ontario, but that's not what this video is about. It's about going through common reasons why people refinance their properties and digging a little bit deeper on that. So the top five in no particular order are this. One, to get a lower mortgage rate. Two, to pay off their debt. Three, renovate their home. Four, buy another property, whether that's a cottage or whether it's an investment property. We'll just kind of chunk those two together. And the five is to kind of boost their retirement savings. Now, I like to take those three and basically put them into three categories. The first category is cash flow savings. The second one is renovations. I'm sure you can figure out what that includes. And the third one is growing your wealth or improving your net worth. So let's start off in cash flow signal. Let's talk about getting a lower rate. Look, we're in a period now with historically low interest rates. And with that, if you're like second or third year into, a, into your mortgage term, then there could be some considerable savings in you refinancing your home and getting a lower mortgage rate. You know, when I think back to the first property I ever bought, which was a 5% down high ratio mortgage, um, the variable rates at that time were like 2.05%, which made the payment for my mortgage just over $1,010. Today, that same mortgage is offered around 1.35%, which would have made my payment about 930 bucks a month, which would have saved me about five grand over the course of my mortgage. So decent little savings in cash flow. Now, the biggest and probably one of the most common reasons people refinance their homes is to pay off debt. It's sometimes the reason why people have a negative association um, with refinancing. It's completely unfair, to be honest with you, because let's face it, we know life gets messy. And sometimes the bills accumulate in that process and we feel like we're drowning. Why should we be hesitant to reach out and refinance our debt? You know, I had a couple who, they had $150,000 in consumer debt. When you tacked on their mortgage, their payments at minimum were $3,900 a month. I was actually able to save them over $2,400 a month. Yes, their mortgage went up, but they still net came out $2,400 a month ahead, which was a huge uptick um, in their cash flow each month, helping them to kind of rebuild some savings, save towards retirement, and kind of just get overall in a better financial situation. So let's shift out of cash flow savings. Let's talk about renovations. Look, everybody knows the market is really, really hot right now, which tempts a lot of people to think, hey, what if I just put a sale sign up on my house? How much would I, you know, how much could I get for it? A lot of times people ignore the fact that they still have to buy another home. And so with that, they're going to now throw themselves in the pool with all the other people that want to buy homes with a record low level of supply. So ask yourself, I mean, do you like your current home? Do you like the location? Do you like the home itself? As long as you like the location, you can change your home. So why not consider renovating your home? Maybe it's updating your kitchen or your bathroom. Maybe it's both. Maybe you need a new roof. Chances are you can renovate your home for a lot cheaper than you can buy yourself a new one. And shifting away from those first two categories, let's talk about that last category where you're looking to improve your retirement, improve your net worth. I'll start with um, buying an investment property. Look, you can buy an investment property or you could buy, you know, buy yourself a cottage. Um, and the reason you do this is really just to overall slowly improve your net worth. I have some clients who have hit absolute grand slams when it comes to investment properties. We're talking, they're making $2,000 plus a month in, netly, in net cash flow. Now, is that every deal? Absolutely not. And I'm not gonna mislead you to tell you that it is every deal, because it isn't. Truth be told, if you're only looking at an investment property from the lens of cash flow, you're gonna miss out on some absolutely great properties. And honestly, I can speak to that from personal experience because I made some really big mistakes when I first started looking at investment properties and only focus on cash flow. So there's two tried and true methods of how people build wealth over time. The first one is real estate, right? That's the one we just went through. 
But when you talk about investing in real estate, inevitably somebody always knows somebody who has bought a property and has a real horror story that they now need to share about it. So if you've heard those horror stories, you may not want to buy another property and you may get towards this last category, which is when you refinance to invest. In this category, basically what's happening is you are going to refinance some of the equity out of your home and you're going to give it to your financial advisor or unless you invest your money for yourself. Um, and you're going to buy more stocks. You could buy more mutual funds, ETFs, you know, bonds, whatever tickles your fancy, you're going to basically help this grow over time. You know, imagine if you just took $50,000 out and it grew, I don't know, at 8% for the next 20 years, meaning you put the 50 in today, you never put another dime in. Well, 8% over the next 20 years, that money is gonna grow more than four times. In fact, at 8%, it's gonna grow to $233,000. You haven't done another thing to help you get that, you've just got there because of compound interest. Look, those are the top five reasons, there's a lot more, and each situation is unique. So if they didn't fit into those three, you know, kind of those three categories or those five reasons, don't worry about it. Get in touch with a mortgage professional and see whatever your goal is, if a refinance might help you achieve those goals. So if this is a video you enjoy, please like it. If you have questions about how the goals were achieved or any other goals and maybe whether a refinance might be a good fit, feel free to drop them down in the comment section. If you enjoy content like this, please consider subscribing to the channel. But in the meantime, thanks for tuning in guys and have a great day.